G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing my full review of the Realme watch. The Realme watch has been everywhere with me for the last two weeks. I have done running, cycling, hiking, walking, training in the backyard, doing whatever I can to try and trip up the Realme watch. And I'm pleasantly surprised with the results. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Okay, ladies and germs, the Realme watch from Realme. Now, this is going for about 179 and that includes a watch strap of your choice of color. And currently, I'll just throw this in now. If you do buy from that website over the next couple of weeks, there is a CW Tech code that will give you 5% off store-wide, and that code is CW. So just put that in as a promo code when you're checking out, and you'll get your 5% discount. Now, back to the review. So some basic specs for the Realme watch are 1.4-inch display. That's for the Americans. For the rest of the world, you get a 3.5-centimeter display. And that is a square display, and it comes in at about 320 ppi. I do like its look. I do like its feel. It is also only 31 grams, so that is really light. I barely noticed it on my wrist most of the time, which was a nice change, to be honest with you. I'm coming from a Galaxy Watch, which is a big, chunky device, so to put on something nice and light was a nice change. There's no sharp edges on it, so when I was using it to monitor my sleep, I didn't wake up with any scratches on my face or anything, which I have had happen in the past from some smartwatches. None of that with the Realme watch. It's got a really nice, smooth and gentle design. The straps are really soft, really nice feeling. They're made of silicon. And the colors come in black, green, blue, and red for the straps for the watch. And they're easy to change. Now, this also comes with 12 watch faces applied. Now, you got to bear in mind, this is their first smartwatch. So to get 12 watch faces to choose from is a good amount. And I'm sure more will be added over time. Also, with the display, it is 2.5D glass. Now, 2.5D just means that it's curved glass, but it is Gorilla Glass on the front, which is a great spec. It has a real-time heart rate monitor and has true sports capabilities, so it can track your activities and what you're doing. And for me, it did track many of the activities that I was doing. The one thing it couldn't track was swimming, but they don't say it can. It's not a feature that it can track swimming. However, it did track my running, cycling, walking, hiking, my heart rate, my blood oxygen levels, all of those things it was tracking at a consistent rate. Now, it does have an intelligent motivator on it, and you can also receive plenty of notifications on the watch as well. So all your social media platforms, all the big ones anyway are there, so your Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. You can get notifications for all those services on your wrist, as well as being able to reject calls on the fly. Now, navigating the application is easy. You swipe up to get to your menu, and you've got your workouts, your sleep, heart rate monitor, activity records, camera, and music controls, which is another great feature. You can be listening to a track on your phone and you can just use the watch to skip to the next song. You know you know how it is. You're working out, you're in the mood, and then Kylie Minogue comes on and wrecks it for everyone. You can just skip that song and go straight to the next one. And you can also use it to trigger your camera on your Realme phone as well, which to me is great. I mean, I can set my camera up on a tripod to take a selfie or a group selfie, fire the shutter with the watch, which is great. It's an awesome little feature to have. Now, I had plenty of time to try this out. And for me, using the watch while also tracking my activity with my phone and also comparing it to my Galaxy Watch, because I wanted to see if it was serious. And I'm happy to say that it tracked exactly the same as the Galaxy Watch. Mind you, the Galaxy Watch has a built-in GPS in it as well. So as long as I had my phone with me, the Realme Watch tracked everything as required. Now I did notice that it did lag a little bit behind on some of the longer runs and cycling. However, the Galaxy Watch did as well. So it was really consistent with the activities that I was doing. Now it does track up to 14 separate activities. I did not try them all. I don't do basketball or cricket. Um, there's plenty of activities that I don't do. 
but the ones that I did track, it tracked really well, it was consistent and it didn't fail me. If, if I look at my wrist while I was doing my exercise, it would light up and tell me where I was at, my pace, my distance, and I would also get health alerts if my heart rate went too high. And I can safely say that this was accurate because it would only happen when I was doing extreme running and I might be say 5Ks into a long run and running up a steep hill and then my heart rate would obviously go up and I would get a warning to let me know that my heart rate's going up. I knew it was gonna be high so I just kept running. But that always worked. Whenever I knew my heart rate was getting too high, shortly afterwards I would get a notification to tell me that I needed to back it off a little bit. Now this isn't short running either, this is like over 10 or 12 k's at a time and cycling between 20 and 35 kilometers at a time and it was really consistent. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say that any smartwatch is accurate because no one knows if they are. You, you're not a GPS, you're not a, a health physician monitoring your blood oxygen levels, you're not um, a health physician checking your heart rate and neither am I. But what I do look for is consistency. So if it's consistently monitoring me and telling me what's happening, then I can look for anomalies. And that's what I was getting with the Realme watch. Now it's not a doctor, it's a, it's a smart watch. It's an activity tracker. It's for fitness and for notifications. And I say the same for the sleep tracking. It definitely tracked my sleep and I would get a breakdown whether I was in deep sleep, light sleep, REM mode or awake. Also within the activities, it was monitoring my steps. Now for me, on a typical day, if I do like a 10K run and then just general walking around, maybe doing a bit of shopping, that sort of thing, I might average around 13 to 14,000 steps. And the watch tracked all that fairly accurately. I didn't have any discrepancies when it came to step counting. It wasn't like going asleep on me and not counting or anything like that. It is also IP68 water resistant. And so if you're out running or cycling, it can actually cop a bit of water on it, 1.5 meters in your pool max. You wouldn't do high intensity sports with something that's IP68 rated, but you certainly can wear it into the pool, get it wet while you're running or, or cycling within the rain. So IP68, great for the price. Now some other practical uses for the Realme watch. You can get reminders to drink water, reminders to get up off your lazy backside, the weather forecast, find your phone, Goal reminders, I mean there's plenty of little extras within the watch that you can use as well. The battery life for me has been enjoyable as well. I've been getting about a week at a time out of the battery. It was taking about one hour to charge. I would just take it off, put it on the charger, check some emails, have a shower, get ready for the day, put it back on and it's fully charged, ready to go for another five days. Certainly battery life is great. And it was really nice and easy to set up. I mean, I just installed the Realme Link app on my phone. I had to have a Realme account, and then it would monitor and store that information through the Realme Link app. And it would also sync it with my Google Fit application as well. So overall, I'm giving Realme a big plus for the Realme watch. This is their first smartwatch slash activity tracker that they've put out to the market of this type. And I'm really impressed with it, and I can't wait to see what else is coming. But if this is within your price point, you won't be disappointed. I've tried a lot of activity trackers over my time, and I can tell you I've had some real disappointments. The Realme watch was not one of those disappointments. For me, it's been a win, and I'm going to recommend it to anyone who wants to give it a crack. It's definitely a great option. So the Realme watch is an all-round package, one I can recommend to anyone who's considering getting into the smartwatch game or the fitness tracker game, you will be happy. If you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Share this video with your homies. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.